Time to thank you, little friends. Join with Jack Baratina, episode 17, on Friendly Steamy. One night, Sean and Steve were about to get ready for bed when Edward came up to them. Planning to get ready for bed, are we? asked Edward. Oh, yes, we are, said Charlie. Uh, uh, uh. I have a good diet of tip and sheds, Edward. Asked Steve. Tip and sheds is alright, said Edward. You know, I have the news for you, Charlie. Ooh, what is it? Jokes? No. The top and I want you to take a choice guy tomorrow. What? What for? A new way to this coming. Is a new way that is coming to the island. Really? said Charlie. We, we. Is it the diesel or steamy? asked as Steve. Oh, said so Edward. It's a, it's a steamy. A male or female? asked Charlie. Female, said Edward. And she is from the other railway. The other railway? said Steve. There's no place for a steamy to be on the other railway. These diesels, these these bad diesels over there will want to cut you off. Yeah, but I, I don't know what the steamy is capable of. Well, better go. See you later, you two. Good night, Edwin, they said. And Edward popped back to the his shed. All right, you guys, said Charlie. Nothing to complete. Shall we? Oh yes, says Steve. And with that, one by one, the engines fell to sleep. The next morning, in, in, Charlie and Steve woke up by a whistle. What was that, said Charlie? I don't know, says Steve. Is that a new engine? And indeed, it was. Around the corner came in a brown tank engine, and she was brown all over her, and she was beautiful, and she was she was one of Charlie's and Billy's class. Wait a minute," said Charlie. "I didn't recognize Ice's engine." Cass! Wait, Charlie, is that you? said Cass. Yes, said Charlie, it is you. Oh my goodness, said Cass. I'm so glad to see you again, said, um, said Cass. Yeah, said Charlie, but why are you on the other railway for so many years? Well, well, I tell you, after we leave, we go on the tour. Oh yes, said Charlie, I'd have to get on the tour right now. See you later, oh Steve, said Charlie. Must go. Bye, Charlie, said Steve. Have a nice day. And Charlie and Steve left. As Charlie and, and Cass was popping down the track, Charlie wondered. Cass, he asked. Why are you in the other world all these years? Oh, what I tell you? What that you slow down? Oh, sorry, said Charlie. Well, said Cass, it's a very long story. After we were been withdrawn, after I was uh, after my jaw was taken over by some diesels, was by some diesels, was I went and. I tried to escape, but the diesels caught me, and then, and then, they wanted to scrap me. But luckily, my mouth escaped me from scrap. I've been walking there uh, for ever since. Until I've been pocketed, and then I found you. Until, um, and I found you. That's when I've been never see you again. Wow, said Charlie. That's excellent. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, 
to cast, but what about Billy? Is he honest, really? Yes, said Chai, but I regret to inform you, but he's up with repairs at the Steamworks. Oh, that's too bad. But hey, said Charlie, at least you can still have fun with us. Oh, thanks, said Cass. Oh, hey, said Charlie, let's continue. And with that, they left. Even the steam team thought that a cast was impressed. I say, said Gordon, I can't believe you were saved by scrap by that manager over there. He was very nice. Yeah, said James. Thank, thank God that I didn't get scrap. The time I saved me by getting into this beautiful red paint. Now, James, said Edward, don't brag about yourself. I got saved from scrap by getting this new shape, said Henry. I look magnificent in my new shape. Ugh, said Gordon. Mm. And I like your new shape. Not like you just wait it on. Uh, my brother, the flying scarf, been in the silvers of the day. I was some eight, four, for citizens. Like me and flying scarfman and my brothers. Who are your brothers? said Cass. I think I can remember some of them. Well, said Thomas, I'm lucky. I knew I wanted to eat two tankiness to survive in my class, while my brothers and sisters are all scrap. Except for a nutty to tank in the name Timothy, but I don't want to share that for another time. Well, my brother choked and it is preserved. Said Percy. And I want an G genuine stone to be preserved along with some of my brothers and sisters, said Emily. Wow, said Cass. I can't believe it. What about you, Edward? Well, said Edward. I want the only survivors of the K4 Furnace as Railway class. I preserve, said Edward. I'm lucky that I deserve. Our brother lived on this island, Dylan. He lived on this island. He's busy doing work right now. Our brother said Henry. I remember one of my brothers, his name is Hoppy. He lives in London. Sometimes I see him when I go to London sometimes. I miss him. And said James. Not to forget about me. I have a brother and he lives on this island. His name is Eagle. And I have another brother too. That lives in the northern part of London. Yellow Dass. That's excellent to cast. You know Billy and Charlie are the same for my class as they preserve. And my lucky dime to be to preserve. Good day, welcome, Peter," said James. So, said Cass, what type of jobs you do on the island of Soto? What's my favorite job to post to do, said Emily? I like pulling some goods trains. Not very well to handle these trucks. I like delivering the mail, said Percy. I like pulling any club on my breast line, said Thomas. I like to pull the express, said Gordon. I decided to put passenger trains and not freight trains to James. I like pulling passenger trains as a, and freight trains too, and sometimes the top rats allowed to pull the express. Henry, said Gordon. What? said Henry. I like pulling the express sometimes. And I like to do everything on the island of Soto, even shunting. Oh, I, said Cass. Well, we better go to bed. Good night, everyone. Good night, Cass, said the engines. And with that, all the engines, one by one, went good eye and went to sleep. The next day, Charlie came to pick Cass up. Good morning, Cass, said Charlie. Wake up and at him. Ah, said Cass. What time is it? 
Oh, said Thomas, it's time for you to start work. What? said Cass. That's right, said Charlie. We, eh, you just had a tour here today. It's time for you to get to work. And what my job will be if, if, if for the day? Oh, said Charlie, I just want to tell you that your job on the island today will be shunt trucks and coaches. Shante? Shante? She was shot. Is there a problem with that? said Percy. Of course there is, said Charlie. I came here to pull trains, not the uh, the person who wants them leave. Don't worry, Emily. You can pull trains later. Yeah, said Charlie. There's no joke for this one. You can pull trains when you have more experience. Anyway, let's go. And with that, Charlie and Cass pop away. Bye, you guys. See you later, Cass. And you, and they left. So, Cass, work at, at the shunting yard with Nia and Arthur. That doesn't bother Cass that much, but the only thing that really bugged the yard a lot was Nia and Arthur the stories of everything that they did. Phew, said Arthur when he did the last train for the day. That was at hard work. Were you really? Yeah, I sure was, said Nia. Yeah, said Cass. That was very hard work for some until the engines like you. Arthur, a silly big tank engine bigger than me. And Nia, uh, another silly engine. But you're not from Soto, you're from Africa. Just go back to Africa, you. You. You African Mexican? What do you call me? said Nia. And as for you, Arthur, said Cass. You should go back to the, you should go back uh, to the William Glennon and Scottish where I also know at the Arminess, where you came from, and said to on the side like there. Arthur was horrified. What? What do you call us? Nothing, said Cass. As you just go back to where you came from through your old railways. But the time that won us here, said Arthur. Yeah, Tania, what it would be the time that you just want us here? I don't care, said Cass. Ugh, you two are so annoying. No, we're not, said Nia. We're not working here. Well, I don't care about it. Now, now, I want you God out of my sight, please. Come on, Arthur. Zania, let's go. And with that, Arthur and Nia pop away. Ha ha ha, said Cass. I just, I just call Arthur and Nia names, said Cass. Wahoo! Soon, and I will turn this island into a dump, she said. And with that, Cass puffed her way back to her shed. Not telling anyone what she had done, but soon her true nature will come. But that another story after we.